Hello everyone, Mark here, Mark's Max Muscle. And with the Mr. Olympia event rapidly approaching us, the question still remains, it still lingers, will Michael Crizo be there? Will Michael Crizo be at the Olympia of Olympias, the 2022 Mr. Olympia event? It's going to be the biggest show of all time. Michael Crizo, he is set to compete in just a couple of weeks at the 2022 Prague Pro. And it is a pro qualifier, or a uh, Olympia qualifier, rather. We already went, went through the pro card earner. He's a pro now. Look at the size of this guy's arm. If I didn't know this guy, which I don't, but I know him from pictures. I know what he looks like. I would say that it is photoshopped, and there's something going on here. Something definitely wrong with this guy's arm. That's not human. That's not human. Of course, if you're Michael Crizo and you're a pro bodybuilder, I guess you could call that something right. There's something right with that arm. It's huge. It can win shows. He can win shows with the with the strength of those babies. We might be looking at a top 10 placer, a spoiler, if you will, come Olympia time. There's going to be a lot of guys crying in their soups. Could this guy be one of them? Could Ian Valier? fall to the likes of a Michael Crizo, or could Ian Valier supersede all expectations of him? Could he get a victory over the likes of a, say, a Samson Douda even? A Hunter Labrada? I guess we'll have to wait and see, but this guy here, look at the size of his traps. Look at the vascularities. Prappa! Buck, buck, buck! In the outer lats. That's, that's just a simple back shot. Not even bag day, he said. Look at the size of the delts on the guy. He is one big Canadian lumberjack stud buck, is Ian Valier. So bring on the Michael Crizos. Bring on the Andrew Jacks, the Blessing Awadibus. I am sure this guy has his sights set more on the William Bonax and the Nick Walkers is his. So yeah, and hey, if I look like this dude... I would set my sights high, too. I mean, this guy, at one point, people said, oh, his, his back's weak. He has a weak back. I might tend to agree at, at a certain point. Maybe the old 2020 Tampa, was it? Or the 2019? 2020, I think. Yeah, yeah, he's come a long way since then, guys. Give the guy some credit. Give him a second look. The judges have been, and his placings have been uh, reflecting that. Now, here's an individual that could be a total wild card come Olympia time. Open class competitor, obviously. Obviously. Vladislav Sohorochko. Apologize if I get this man's name wrong. Sorry, big man. But this dude here, I am very high on this guy. There is a couple of guys, namely Vlad. And maybe uh, Antoine Vaillant, a couple other dudes too, a couple other dude, dudes too, Tony O'Burton. But yeah, this guy here, he's who I'm talking about now. He's going to do a lot better than people think that he's going to do. Look at him. Look at him. He is a big chunk of muscle and veins. And he has that midsection in check. And in my opinion, that was the only real downfall. And he was posing too too intense like crazy before i uh, at the before the yamamoto i forget where it was i apologize maybe the i, I don't even want to say the show i'll probably get it wrong but yeah orlando maybe I don't know. <laughs> he looked good at the yamamoto and man oh man come olympia time i hope he looks even better let's shoot for a high spot vlad now let's change gears into the men's classic physique division and take a look at a recent pitcher, recent physique update for Ramon Dino. Can this guy upset Chris Bumstead? I hear a lot about, you know, who can do it, who can defeat Bumstead, but then obviously you hear other people. Nobody's going to defeat him. He's going to be champion for years. I don't know, guys. People are high on this man, this buck, this stud. And for the division, honestly, guys, and I think most people would agree with this, the physique, and I'm not talking condition, presentation, posing skills, things of that nature at all, 
Just judging on the the style of the physique, the way he is shaped, nice big arms, I think that this is a much better representation to the, uh, the classic physique division than a bumstead. But hey, hey, there is the matter of conditioning. There is a matter of the presentation. So yeah, Bumstead's champion till somebody proves him wrong. And here is yet another men's classic physique division competitor, Logan Franklin. We didn't get to see him last year. He took third at the uh, 2021 Arnold Classic. If I'm not mistaken, he did good, but he did not get a uh, ticket to the Olympia. Last year, he won the Sean Ray Classic. I believe it is the Hawaii Classic. Something something of that nature. I believe it was just the, the Sean Ray Hawaiian Classic. To be, uh, to be more precise. But yeah, Logan Franklin. What can he do at the Olympia event? Can he shock some people? Can he turn some heads? Can he supersede all expectations of him? There's another guy, Fabian Mayer. He kind of resembles him. He's, he's a lot taller, though. So it could be, a, could be an onion in his ointment. Of course, he could be the onion in the other guy's ointment. Why not? Why not? Logan Franklin, he is looking good. Always like this guy's physique. Since the New York Pro, I think it was, 2020 New York Pro, he looked really good. Anyway, just an update. Keep you guys updated on all the bodybuilding physique updates, things of that nature. Because guys, we are so close to the Olympia. Time is a ticking. Wow, wow. What a big show. A really big show. Hit thumbs up on this video, guys. Please helps me greatly. And uh, subscribe to the channel. Coincidentally, if you have not already, that uh, that helps even more, even more so. Have a good one.